Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancers, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For those of you guys interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. I want to thank you guys. Uh, I've been uploading all the videos uh, for this mid-month uh, regarding their love lives. Um, the the ones that had the most views or the most comments, those are the videos that are going to be going up sooner than the rest of them. So I highly encourage you guys to uh, support your sign by commenting, sharing, and liking these videos. Again, like I said, at the end of uh, the middle of the month and the beginning of the month, the videos with the most views are going to be the first videos to come up. So... Um, Let's move forward with Cancers of Reading. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get the newest updates uh, as soon as they come up, okay? So let's get into your reading, Cancers. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding your love life. Spirit, what are the messages for Cancers? What are the messages for Cancers regarding their love life for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding their love life? What are their cards? Very good. Please pull out the cards for cancers. Okay. Let's get right into it. All right, cancers, you have the king of cups, the ace of swords, the two of pentacles, and the hanged man. Uh, the person you're dealing with or your partner at the present time is the eight of cups, the nine of pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I do want to mention, um, for a lot of you guys, it's a give and take. And the reason I'm saying that is because I was shuffling initially the, uh, the deck, and the Six of Pentacles keeps popping out. I keep seeing this card. So it's a give and take, Cancer. So what that means is um, it's the exchange of either effort, emotions, or... Um, connecting with uh, the person you're dealing with on an emotional level. I know cancers can be a bit, uh, what's the word? You guys are very protective of your emotions. You guys are very, uh, when you feel that you're becoming vulnerable, you're very quick to go into your shell and kind of uh, go MIA for a couple of days. Um, and for the mid month of October, going into the beginning of November, it's going to be very important for you guys to try the best you can, um, to reciprocate. Uh, if you see that your partner is giving or putting effort, you definitely need to step up your game cancer. You definitely need to put in that effort as well. Uh, if you feel that they're taking advantage and you're the one that's putting too much effort, then you definitely need to pump the brakes on that and allow them to be the ones to come to you, okay? That's going to be very important for the mid-month of October going into the first week of November. So your current situation at the present time is the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords. So what this represents, uh, I feel that this is outside uh, influence. This is your current situation, okay? So the Five of Penta, uh, sorry, the Five of Wands definitely talks about a lot of people having a lot to say, but in reference to love, I feel that your partner, the person you're interested in, definitely has a lot of attention or is getting a lot of attention. It's like a lot of people physically are trying the best they can to entertain them or to get uh their sights on them so what i mean by that is this is people going out of their way to try to get the attention of your partner now the six of swords is definitely a representation of moving forward and i feel that for you guys if you guys have been in a hectic uh, crazy type of relationship for those of you guys that have been in a committed long-term relationship um it's been very chaotic a lot of arguments a lot of uh, petty arguments i should say but the six of swords is here basically letting you know sometimes when you feel you've completely lost control of the situation, it's best to take a couple of steps back and take a take a breather. You know, um, the more you sit there and try to analyze the situation, the worse you make it because we are definitely our worst enemies when it comes to overthinking or overanalyzing. So there is a need for you to just allow, let go of feeling that you need to be in control so then you can push forward uh, to calmer waters with your partner, okay? So the cards that are being represented um, for you and how you view the situation or how you're dealing with the person that 
you're currently dealing with, whether it's the partner that you've been with in a long-term commitment or whether it's a new person that you're dealing with. Here is the King of Cups and the King of Cups, this is, this is definitely your energy, but because this is how you see the other person, you see this person as very noble, you see this person as loving, or it could be a reflect, um, a representation of how you wish to see them. So you wish to see them as very compassionate. So it can mean one of two things. They are genuinely compassionate and loving people, or you feel that that's how they are deep within themselves, but they they have yet to show you that side to them. So okay, that side to themselves. Okay. So the Ace of Swords here, I feel that for a lot of you guys, if this is in fact your energy, because it is a general reading, if this is in fact your energy, Cancers, you guys are going to be put in a situation in the middle of October where it's kind of like you're going to either jump in wholeheartedly or you're going to allow fear to stop you from progressing. And the reason I say that is because, again, this is your energy and that this energy is looking towards the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is definitely a need for you to speak up, Cancer. It's a need for you to see things very clearly or to be very direct on your emotions. And the reason I say that is because the Two of Pentacles is next to the Ace of Swords. So the Two of Pentacles is definitely a need for a balance, but it's also a need of give and take with the six of pentacles that kept, kept coming out. So what that means is one or the other person in the relationship is putting too much effort and the other one is kind of just uh, sailing through um, and it's unfair. So at this present time, universe is going to step in and change circumstances where you're going to feel like you're out of balance. You're going to feel like you either don't have control over the person or you don't have control over your emotions and you're going to have no other option but to completely be honest with them and open up to them or you're going to be run by fear which is where you're going to lose that control of your emotions to finally be put in this hanged man position there's going to be a timeout for you or this is you contemplating if you should in fact express your feelings okay so i know that this is a uh, this is a very direct message um, for those of you guys that are married or in a serious committed relationship. I'll get into that, but let me just move forward uh, the way I'm getting the messages. Now, how your partner sees the situation with the eight of cups, they're done. It's like either they've been, either they've been putting too much effort. And at this point they're expecting for you to put that effort in. And it's like, you're stuck. Either you're physically stuck, like you can't really do much about it whether it's because you're dealing with money issues at the present time, whether it has to do with emotional blockages that you have. It's like you are wanting to open up and express yourself, but you can't seem to find the right words or the right way to do it. And your partner is definitely seeing it this as, you know what, this person's not going to open up or they're not going to put forth the effort. I'm moving on. And again, they're moving on to the singlehood card. This is the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is a representation to me of becoming single or the singlehood card. So again, uh, I definitely feel that you guys are at an, at a very, very important moment in your life where either you jump in full commitment into a relationship or if you decide to shy away from that, you're going to be missing out on this person that has been through with you through a lot of difficulties. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with an earth sign. An earth sign would be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. For other of you guys, it may be an air sign, an Aquarius, Gemini, or um, Libra. Or another water sign like yourself, which would be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But again, I do want to mention that I feel that someone in this relationship is completely done as far as putting effort. Um, and again, they're moving on from this eight of cups going to, towards uh, the singlehood card. Now, right at the center here, if you speak your truth, Cancer, and you're completely honest to this person that you've been dealing with or that you're interested in, if you completely speak to them with honesty, the nine of pentacles uh, under the ace of swords, there is a promise for manifestation of long-term commitment here. But again, there's a need for balance and there's a need for you to balance your fears and to be daring and open up completely to this person. If you do so, you have the 10 of cups here, 
which the Ten of Cups is a representation of emotional fulfillment, but it also speaks about the beginning stages of creating a life together. Uh, so again, it could be marriage for some of you guys. The reason I say that is I love to see this card. This is a beautiful card in the tarot. But when it's shining through with the Ten of Pentacles, my dear Cancers, this is a promise for a loving relationship and a relationship that's going to last or a relationship that is going to turn into long-term commitment, which is marriage or moving in with each other. Okay. So again, like I said, I feel that you guys are going to be at very important. This is a very important cycle in you guys' life where you have to decide if in fact you need to put the effort, if it's you cancer that has not put the effort into this person that you genuinely are interested in, it's almost like with the two of, of coins and the hanged man, it's almost as if you're trying everything you possibly can to fuck it up. Um, and the hanged man is like you literally feel that you don't know how to react or how to open up to this person, okay? And it's almost like, I don't understand what they want from me. I don't understand what they want from you. But in reality, all they're asking for or all they're wanting is for you to actually step up and not just show with words, but actually show with material. And I don't mean material in the sense of gifts. I mean material in the physical plane. Like if you say you're going to be there, actually be there. If you say you're going to go see them, actually go see them. If you say you're going to, I don't know, take them out on a date, actually go through with that. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's almost this feeling of like dropping, uh, a lot of dropping of plans. And it, 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 now they're seeing you as like a person that is either not serious or a person that's all over the place emotionally. Um, and a lot of people just don't want to put up with that type of work. Uh, so again, cancers that's very important now for those of you guys that have been in a serious monogamous relationship um again the same message applies i feel that one or the other uh has been putting too much effort into this relationship and your partner is at its wit's end they're done putting the effort they're done they're wanting you to step up to the plate for some of you guys it could be that either you or your partner has been the sole provider in the relationship in regards to money and at this point it's like they don't really see you you know either getting off your ass and busting your ass or they don't it's like you're relying too much on them um and at this point it's like they're wanting to see not just words like yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it but actually put effort into doing it okay now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, Cancers, I definitely, again, like I said, I do see an Earth sign. So again, a Cancer, sorry, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo coming in, or another water sign like yourself, which would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer like you. Um, but I definitely do see a promise for a new beginning. Now, keep in mind the same message applies. Try the best you can to balance your energies and to balance your emotions, okay? If you feel... Like really tap into your intuition if you feel that this person is genuine and they when they say they're going to do something, they actually do it, then it's time for you to open up, Cancer. It's, it's time for you to give yourself the opportunity um, of love again. And the hanged man is you being going from being able to, you know, almost try to balance something out, which is your emotions. You're finally being able to balance your emotions and you're going to see things in a very different perspective. Try to approach love in a very uh, material sense. So what I mean by that is don't go off of people telling you or promising you, but go off of what they actually show you in effort. Okay, that's very important. And again, the moment you're able to see things from a very different perspective with this, with this hanged man here, if you change the way you approach love, um, there is definitely a promise for longevity and a person coming in that is um, the probabilities of it becoming solidified or becoming long term is very high for you, especially I would say the first or second week of November. OK, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading like uh, comment and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and we will see each other at the beginning of November.